Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sherry and my channel is Blue Gemini. Oh, let me pick my hair out of this for now. Not supposed to be in this braid. This was just for last night. But I'm on my way again to another appointment. Okay, should have just kept it how it was, but that was that was how I did it to take a bath last night. To just be out of my way. On the curb. But yeah, so I'm on my way to another appointment. Usually I got two usually I have um the way it's been going so far has been like three appointments every two weeks for now because I'm double booked today I gotta go which I forgot I gotta do that shot I forgot okay so I need to mentally prepare to get that shot done because I was gonna go home and um, clean and finish folding well I can still clean but I was gonna go home and finish folding I gotta pull over. <laughs> My clip fell under the seat. Oh, I need to hurry up and just invest in a clip that I can just like clip in there and then move it how I need to. See, y'all choking me. Where did the clip fly off to? Oh, my stomach, I can't feel. Oh, the clip's up there still, I'm stupid. Okay, the clip is still up here. So let me just put the phone back. Hopefully these people aren't like, who are you? And why are you in front of my house? It's so stupid, and now I'm crooked. But I'm not, I don't know if I want to mess with it again. I do. I at least need to not be crooked like this. I don't know why it's like naturally twisting. All right, y'all, yeah, it's a little crooked, but it's okay. So, oh, it's a little park down here. I just went down a random neighborhood street. Oh, they're lucky. Well, it's a little rink -a park. It's not even a real playground. But still, it's still cute. It's not even a slide. <laughs> it's like the one nice street in the middle of the ghetto. Okay. I'm not liking the way this is looking. It's not. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, I need to just hurry up and invest in a um in a in a in a phone clip that I can just clip and it has the little the little leg that can just bend any way. Because the one I got is literally like you just have to sit it there, it has to face. It's I think it's like a GPS one, because my sister had got it for her phone and she doesn't do videos and stuff so I think it's just a GPS like to be able to just have your navigation have your phone prompted or whatever that's like one of those things that you don't think of until you think of it like until you need it uh, I need to go ahead and put that in my Amazon cart I got like a few things in my Amazon cart that I just haven't clicked by yet I don't know what I'm waiting for but but yeah so I'm double booked today. I have my, right now I'm going to go see the specialist. I don't know if it's the appointment where I have to sit there for an hour. Um, cause I got told two different, like two different, um, like 
times of how far I am. Like, I got told when I'm 24 months that I start doing the little hour thing where they monitor. And then last week I got told by somebody else that it's when you're 28 weeks. Did I say months? Did I say 24 months? I feel like I said 24 months. 24 weeks. So, well, I'm not either. So, yeah. So, this isn't, this shouldn't be that. What is this in the street? Oh, my God. There's, like, a person. I'm telling you, man. If, if, if my, um, I swear, if my clip did not fall off every time I touched it, I would record what I see when I drive through this city, y'all. It is a man right here. I don't even think that's a wheelchair. But it's some kind of chair he made with wheels. And he's going backwards on the wrong way of the street. But he's pretty much in the street. I swear you'll hit a crackhead before you hit a car out here. <laughs> but yeah, so this appointment should just be to where I'm just sitting there. I mean, I'm, I'm just getting the ultrasound. So hopefully it goes by quick. And then I got to go in to my other doctor, my regular doctor's office and get my McKenna shot. So I need to also go and drop off some paperwork. And then I also need to go to the hair store, but I don't know if I'm gonna go to the hair store yet. I'm like trying to knock out everything that I be putting off when I don't be wanting to like take the kids out or I don't wanna have to rush back home to like beat my boyfriend from going to work and get them. So I'm trying to like, knock out everything because they gone y'all <laughs> my mama wanted them yesterday she wanted both of them she's only had Eris once when she was maybe like one so she asked for both of them so I shoot and they say number word <laughs> even though it don't feel like they're gone because now that video calls me all day <laughs> she woke me up this morning at seven o'clock I answered it thinking it was a freaking emergency because I'm like the only way that she would you know, she's normally not even up at 7. Eris normally isn't up at 7. So, she video called me, but only showed Eris's face. But then, I couldn't hear anything. So, she had to call me like 10 different times. And then, come to find out, her phone, her tablet was still connected to Bluetooth. So, she couldn't hear me. Or, I couldn't hear her. And then, as soon as she answered and I could hear her, she gonna tell me... Don't forget to bring these little funky fake nails she ordered that came in the mail yesterday when I come and get them. I was like, you woke me up an hour before I needed to be woke to tell me to bring these nails that I'm not even bringing because my mama wants them another night. And she didn't care. Like my mom was like, let, let your mom go to sleep. She waited until my mom walked out the room to video call me. Otherwise, my mom wouldn't have let her call me that early, knowing I had to get up for an appointment. But she was just being a bugbear. I told her, I don't remember that. When you at home, when she's at home, she sleeps until like noon, like she got a job. So the other day, she woke up getting mad at me and my boyfriend because we was in the kitchen talking loud. And she was just like, why are you guys talking so loud? You guys woke me up. And it was like 11 o'clock. And I told her, like, until you pay a bill, I'm sorry. You don't, <laughs> you have no say so. <laughs> Now you want to take this electricity bill, then we'll be quiet. Until then, like, it don't work that way. There's a child here. Not even a child. He's a boy my age with a sign asking for spare change. And, like, I told y'all before, like, I hate when I see people my age. He looks completely able to go and work. And he, like, made it a point to, like, stand in front of my car while I was at that light. So, I was trying to avoid eye contact. <laughs> but, yeah. But, so, she... I told her, I'm going to remember today. I'm going to remember it. One of them days where you're sleeping so hard and so peaceful, I'm going to go in your room and I'm going to just say, I just want to talk about a bunch of nothing. And she's going to deal with it. And I'm going to talk until I actually wake her up. She gonna have to get up and go out the room if she wants me to stop talking to her. I told her, I'm gonna remember it. <laughs> because this morning, my mom kept telling her, like, let me just lay back down. And she was just like, no, I wanna talk to her though. And I can't deny her. Like, I will, but I, for the most part, I don't. For the most part, I suffer through the phone calls. 
because I don't like sitting there video calling and Renaya likes to have people video call her and then she just makes you watch her live. <laughs> like she just props the phone up in the kitchen or in the living room and she just makes you watch her just go about her day. Half the time she won't even talk to you. Half the time she'll take it off of um she'll take it off the thing to where I can't see her. I just see a blue screen because she's on the phone playing games, but she wants me to sit on the phone and just be there, I guess, in case she decides to want to talk. So I'll tell her sometimes, like, girl, I got to go. <laughs> like yesterday, from the time I dropped them off, she video called me for a couple hours. And then when I told her I was going to take a bath, she video called me after. And then she video called me <laughs> before I was going to bed when I was laying down. But my phone started getting hot. So I told her I had to hang up because I was not trying to be home alone. And my phone be completely dead because my phone was dying. And you know how like if it gets a certain lowness, it'll it'll go off and then you got to wait for it to charge a little bit before it comes back on. So I let her know I am not trying to be here by myself like y'all i hate being home alone oh my god like i took my bath yesterday and i was just like at first i was like oh i'm about to take me a long bath i normally take like two hour baths like when when we're not when eris's dad is there and he can take her and he got her and all that stuff i take like two hour baths leave me alone so i was like i'm about to take me a relaxed bath y'all like 30 minutes into it i kept feeling like i was hearing people break in it was the people upstairs though they were doing something but they were being like extra loud so i kept thinking like every footstep is in my house i kept thinking because Renai's puppies in the house but he's like contained to a certain area but i was just i just kept thinking like i hear him moving extra is he moving because there's somebody he don't know in here is he is, is that somebody else shuffling their feet moving a lot I kept thinking like somebody was pushing my air conditioners out the window and to, to get in. Like y'all, I was picturing it. Like I got out the bathtub <laughs> with 911 on my phone <laughs> ready to push call before I went and like looked around the whole house. So it kind of disturbed my whole shit, my whole little relaxation time. So today I have to do it again. I have to go through it again. Mm -hmm. Which I'll enjoy the time before nightfall hits, but when nightfall hits, then it's just like, oh. Uh. And then I kept thinking people knew I was home alone. Like people heard me on the phone, like talking to my sister, saying, like, I'm home alone. Like, it was, ugh. I hate being home alone at night. Uh, I could have took these parking spots, but people want to park all on the lines. Like, oh my God. Ugh, I hate this doctor's office only because it's always so freaking hard to find a parking spot if you don't get here like at seven something. And there's two over there, but people are like parked super close. There's two cars in front of me that are circling, so something tells me they don't got a parking spot. And I refuse to go parking super far. Like I'm about to just sit here and wait for somebody to come out if I have to. I know they're not doing the same thing. Okay, I was about to say, don't go. Somebody's coming out. So I seen some lady coming out. She parked somewhere over here. Hopefully she ain't in handicap. Nope, she's going that way. So, um, my appointment's at 8.30. It's 8.24, so I got a good five minutes for somebody to get up out of here and steal their spot because the next parking spot over is not super close like it's not and I don't know see I could get uh, yeah I don't know how to get it how to get to the, the I don't know how to get to the office I need from another entryway you are not handicapped lady why are you parking in the handicapped spot oh yeah you are <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> but I need somebody to get up out of here. It sucks because the parking is like this because it's at a hospital. Like the specialist is at the hospital. Oh, bam. Hells yeah. See, this, it always works if you just be patient. 
somebody right in front of me like i didn't even see them leaving and they parked where there's a empty spot next to them but they were all up on the line and i'm about to do the same so that nobody parks all super close to me yo slow and steady or what is it patience or whatever 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 that little stupid saying is wins the race oh yeah i see these people crazy they think i'm about to scoot over for them somebody right here thinking i'm about to scoot over so they can park next to me <laughs> no and you know why because this parking spot next to me is super on the line and i am not about to be right up on them so you're gonna have to squeeze that big old suv through here or you out of luck they got an suv so they can't fit right here they need to just go on somewhere over a little bit oh see that car leaving out too big old SUV I looked and I was kind of super far over I guess I'll move over a little bit but this is the most they gonna get you don't have to figure it out they bold I would not be parking no big old SUV up in these tiny spots over here All right, y'all. So, on that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for riding. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe not. But, yeah. So, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and go in. 827. Get this over with. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you have not already, hit your post notifications so you can know when my next video will be uploaded. Bye.